Welcome to our dive on Um El Farood. This former fuel tanker, 115 meters long, has a beam of over 15 meters. It can be reached by a gentle 250 meter surface swim from Weed Izuria. The wreck sits upright on the sandy seabed, its top being only 20 meters from the surface. It was sunk in 1998 as one of Malta's very first artificial reefs and has become an interesting and rewarding dive. The first chap to meet with us is a triggerfish, sometimes called in English a donkey fish, because of the noise it makes when caught. Interestingly, its skin is quite rough and was at one time used by locals as sandpaper. This fish also has recently been found in British waters. Although it looks quite docile and even friendly, it can be quite defensive when it needs to be. And on occasions it is even aggressive when protecting its young. It gets its name from the fact that once its fin is retracted, it flips straight back as a form of defence. As we explore the upper decks of the wreck, we meet many sea bream. Oh, and here's the gold blotch grouper. As they can be a very territorial species, they are mostly found alone. However, here we seem to have stumbled upon a couple. As we continue to explore, my buddies and I find an abundance of damselfish. When day turns into night on the rocky bottom below the wreck, we find many nocturnal creatures. This octopus is hunting for his dinner. Suddenly, a fascinating and rare creature showed up. A protected, long-spined sea urchin. And he was also on the hunt. Sea urchins use their spines to move and to ensnare unsuspecting prey. Spines are also an important part of the sea urchin's defense. They're not only sharp, but venomous too. However, if this starfish decides to have a little urchin for supper, then he can do just that. If you look closely, you can see that the starfish has what is known as a hydrostatic skeleton. And even more interesting is a clever way in which he uses his tube feet. Put simply, our spiny starfish has hundreds of tiny water jets, which he uses to travel around. Possibly the most fascinating aspect of this awesome creature is his ability to clone himself. He can split himself into two pieces and each of these then grows their missing parts. Here's another member of the starfish family. This is the brittle starfish. Brittle because he's prepared to lose a limb in order to escape from an attack. In a matter of only weeks, he can regrow his missing legs. And look, he's currently regrowing two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Although officially classified as an alien species, this rabbit fish has become a very common sight in the Mediterranean. He is venomous, yet surprisingly, he's quite edible. He feeds on herbs and is apparently tasty. Some 25 years after being sunk, Um Al Farood has become an ideal pilot study for artificial reefs. It shows clearly that wrecks are both effective in replenishing marine life and attracting divers. We hope you've enjoyed this brief glimpse of what is a really rewarding experience for the curious diver.